Hey guys, Deathmog91 here. So I am back for another review. This is the Bouncer, which it's a PS2 exclusive. The game itself, I'll start off by saying the price ends up going for about five bucks or so. Um, the game ends up being pretty good. It's a beat em up, which uh, I really like. I ha haven't actually beat the game, but I did play quite a bit of this, and I enjoyed it. It's a PS2 game. Now, this is very early PS2, uh, so I'm pretty almost sure this was a launch title, because... Um, the game feels like it was a launch title, so I don't know. It came out early 2000, so... Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was... If it wasn't a launch title, it was definitely one of the first games. And it was developed by Square Enix. Now, the main... Ah. Sorry. The main character in this game actually makes a really good resemblance to uh, Ty Titus Titus from Final Fantasy uh, 10. Now that's just my opinion. He makes a good uh, he makes a pretty good uh, character model because this was guaranteed one of Square Enix's first games. Oh, it was actually Square Enix's first PS2 game. So, th that's actually kind of interesting that this was the first one. Graphic-wise, this looks pretty good for very early PS2. And it's pretty much like a P It was designed probably for the PS1 almost. But it... Or, no, PS2 definitely. But yeah... So that's kind of amazing that this was the first game for the PS2. Well, it's, it's on the wiki it says Square, but Square Enix is still the same company. Uh, well, nowadays it is, but yeah. So animation and graphic-wise looks pretty good. It, I mean, it's an early game. They had they had just started. Uh, well, this is just when. The 3D animation like this just got started to get kind of big. Because for a while, you had 2.5D, you did have some 3D, but it didn't look like it did. <laughs> uh, it didn't look like what it looks like now. So this is actually pretty amazing to see how far this game has gone. Uh, not this game, the company has gone to what they're doing today. And, hell, I mean, early PS2 stuff, some people say it looks really bad, but I think this looks pretty damn good for being its time. Now, I'm not saying everything's perfect about this, but yeah, okay, oh wait, I'm gonna go ahead and skip it and go to the main thing. So you actually have a character selection, Cyan Bazard actually who reminds me of T Titus got Volt Cruiser who is big uh, but yeah so Scion is actually the weak guy but he does pretty well so let's see I feel like going with Volt he's gonna be the brawler type now I don't know if this is just each battle you get to choose so, you got square, which kicks. X does kind of a low kick. Circle does a jump punch. This feels kind of like a wrestling game. But, it hand Well, at least, damn. But it handles kind of well. And, now, I've put probably about 10 hours, in, or 5 or 10 hours into this game. Even for an early PS2 game, 
it still put, brings up a good challenge. Now, the one thing that sucks, your camera angle is kind of locked up to what they're, what it's doing. So, unfortunately, you're following the character and you don't get any real say so. So, if you can't see it, any care enemies, you're kind of screwed. Thank God there's no uh, like platforming to this game, because with the not being able to control your uh, the camera angle, platforming would suck in this. That's what I'm gonna say. The game itself, you can get for th three to five bucks on average. So this is actually kind of a nice system. You can go through and level up. Now, you these obviously you won't be able to access for a while because it takes a lot of points. So I focus mainly on increasing your life. Um, so yeah. Gotta make sure you hit the OK. And because this is a review, I'm not saving it. And there's a Final Fantasy reference right there. There's the Cactar, which I think is funny. So, this is kind of a prototype to Final Fantasy, I want to say, or Final Fantasy X, to see how well, you know, the, the animation would handle and all that. But, you see what I mean? He does resemble Ty Titus quite a bit. So, Sion is the main character in the game. Uh, I don't remember when Final Fantasy X came out, but yeah, so I they end up taking the character model basically from this game, changing it up a bit, and that's what they did. And uh, for Final Fantasy X's main character Titus, now obviously they had to put, and I think that on his jacket that's a reference to Final Fantasy VIII, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, that voice acting kind of sucks, but you got to think, there. this was when 3D animation like this was still really new, and not too many people have could do it right, and no one knew, you know, what the PS3, uh, 2 could look like once it's been given some time. Things have been polished out, so I mean, take a look at Kingdom Hearts. That was, I think, like a year and a half, two years down the line. Uh, actually, I can check that out. Um, if that's if it was, then I mean, you gotta think they went from something like that to where they are. Uh, from this to that, that's pretty damn impressive. And yeah, the first release was only a little over a year later. So it was, a, I think it was about a year, and the game looks fucking amazing. I still love it. So I want to say Square Enix has done a lot of work. Uh, you know, in the last, and within a year, I mean, hell, I'm checking 10 right now to double check when it came out. Wow, actually, 10 came out later the year, that year after this, so, this was the, I would say that would be, you know, like their third or fourth game. So you can choose any of the characters for these kind of battle scenes, uh, but, yeah. So, I think this has pr gone pretty impressive in reality. I, would you? Would I say pick this game up? If you're looking for an early brawler that, be honest, it does give you some challenge. But, it's not going to be the best brawler in the world. I mean, look at some of the games we had on the Super Nintendo. Or, later in the s system's lifespan. There's been a lot of good games. 
that have come out. So, it's it's worth picking up if you can find it for the five bucks, I think. Uh, but yeah, should you guys go through and, you know, buy it, you know, new? Nah, the game's not worth picking up new. It's worth picking up for a couple bucks used, but, you know, don't go crazy over this. I did enjoy this. The plot isn't the best. You're basically just saving the damsel in distress. And, yeah. So, that's how that kind of goes. The game gives you a lot of time to save, so you don't have to worry about that. You save often enough that... You don't have to worry about things. If you die, you're not going to be thrown back. Oh, shit. I just did like an hour's worth of brawling. Or I may, or a good example, like Final Fight. You make it to like level 4 or 5. And, you know, you don't have a way to continue. So, yeah. So, they give you a bit of history to this. But I wouldn't worry too much about that. This still looks pretty good for the first game from Square on the PS, Square Enix on the PS2. Yeah, honestly, I still think this would be worth picking up today, but don't go crazy over this. Okay, I'm skipping this because I want to do a little bit more brawling. So yeah, it's kind of nice that you can use all the characters. Um, Volt handles more like a heavyweight kind of guy if you're playing any like wrestling game. Scion's a lot faster and he doesn't do as much damage. So then I think uh, Cool is going to be a kind of he's in the middle or it's the other way around. He seems right now I'm going to say. He's kind of conservative. So you won't be able to do too much damage on him. But he doesn't go through and do anything like outrageous. So that's kind of nice. Although he is kind of, he actually does work out to be kind of strong. So yeah. I see what I meant, uh, what I was referring to earlier about it's going it goes through all the time and gives you options to keep saving which I kind of like because of the fact that you just never know when you're going to get to that point where it's like oh shit I just got my ass beat which trust me guys will happen I know that for a fact I think if you really tried you could probably have this game beat in a day if you're just really trying to go through and beat this game so yeah, I man, I know I managed to get my copy at a goodwill, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> my cat wants to get in. Okay, so let's continue. So on average, you don't see more than like five guys at one time. So that's kind of nice, because you're not gonna get overwhelmed. Oh, you got responses like that. Some of these guys are can be overpowered, and yeah. But the animation, I think this is it goes pretty crazy for early PS1 kind of brawler. And Square's not really, as far as I know, they're not known too far for the brawlers. But this is one of them that I still I'm still gonna say take a look out for. I think it's a great game to have in your collection if you're just wanting to have some fun and it's a different game. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and peace.